Hello, welcome if you're new to this channel. And for those who are returning, thank you so much. We are at over 360 subscribers. That is amazing. I'm so excited that we're here to share knowledge with each other and I be your guide through that process. So welcome to our channel for those who um, are new to this channel. Um, and what we're going to discuss in this, in this particular video is how I successfully passed the HESI exam, HESI A2 exam. My cumulative grade was 90%. My math grade, which is probably what brought you to this video, was 100%. I'm going to send, I'm going to share tips and tricks on how I actually obtain that. I'm also going to do some screen sharing on which Quizlets I used, which YouTube influencers I used, and their information will be in the body of this description of the video. Let's get into it. Hello. Well, we're going to have an intermission at the beginning of this video, and it's just to cover our legal ramifications and that is going to be a disclaimer that you that will appear on the screen and i'm just going to read the disclaimer the views and opinions expressed in this video are my own which are not directed at a specific entity or party and do not reflect the views or opinions of any affiliates corporations employers institutions or organizations. Now that we have that out the way, let's get into the video. How did I score 90% on the HESI A2 exam and 100% on the math section? Let's get into the details. The nursing program I applied to only needed the HESI math and English composite which includes reading comprehension, vocabulary, and grammar. I did not have to take the other sections of the HESI. We will start with the math section since that is usually the most significant hurdle for most people to overcome. When I took the HESI math section, there were tons of proportions, ratios, multiplying, and dividing fractions, conversions, Roman numerals, and military time, please note. All of the questions on the math section are not multiple choice. Positive news, there is a calculator if you take your exam via remote proctor. Check with your testing center prior to your test day. Regarding conversions, what you must know, feet to miles, centimeter to meters, big G, mnemonic for ounces, cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. Another mnemonic I forgot your milk. Inches, feet, yard, miles. Shout out to Nurse Shay for that mnemonic. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally mnemonic for those order of operation problems. Finally, OLBT mnemonic for ounces, pounds, and tons. Another shout out. Nurse Hub helps tremendously with memory tricks and mnemonics for conversions. Helpful conversion tips. When converting, for example, how many feet are in five miles? Miles are larger than feet from high to low. Tips to remember beyond HESI exam. When converting any metric outside of converting temperature, a memory trick, alert. From high to low, you would need to multiply. From low to high, you would need to divide. Note, kilograms are larger than pounds. Remember these math tips, not only for the HESI exam, but remember these memory tricks when you begin to study for med math or dosage calculations, which is at the beginning of your nursing program. Another memory trick from Mometrics, HESI a two secrets online videos. Write down five tomatoes, actually spell out tomatoes when converting feet to miles. Five TO equals two, mate equals eight, OS equals zero, feet equals one mile. Nurse Hub is extremely helpful. I highly recommend you subscribe no more than 30 days before your test date so you can cancel your subscription after your exam. This subscription is worth it in my opinion. Let's review a snippet of me taking the grammar diagnostic exam and my exam results. 
Nurse Shea is the best YouTube University HESI instructor to help you with all sections of your exam, especially math, reading, grammar, and vocabulary. Now to reading comprehension, and I scored 92% in the reading comprehension section. I used Nurse Hub, Mometrics, Quizlet, and YouTube as my primary sources. There is a YouTube influencer, Math, who gave great information for reading comprehension. Check out her HESI videos for more details, which will be linked in the description of this video on YouTube. Here's a snippet of the most helpful part of her YouTube video. I had Game of Bridge, and I do wanna say Game of Bridge, that's on Quizlet. You can search that up, and literally the story and the questions were word for word, and they were right on Quizlet. I'm gonna try and see if I can find the exact one I studied. I also seen the water cycle. I seen that one on Quizlet too, but I do have to say that the answers were, the questions were not like the one I seen on Quizlet. I did not see those questions or answers on the Quizlet, but I do advise you to read it, kind of know what it's about. Like be familiar with all of these that I'm gonna say. Food was another passage I had, and food was similar questions to what I seen on the Quizlet, but one, they weren't in order, and two, like only two or, or like two or three of the questions were on the HESI. The other questions were different questions than what I seen on the Quizlet. So just keep that in mind. But food is not a hard passage, so I'm sure you will be successful as long as you like read it at least once before you take the test. Then I had a white elephant. White elephant was literally word for word from Quizlet. Like same passage, same questions, same responses. Then I had Golden Gate Bridge, and that one was also word for word from the Quizlet, as well as um, same question. So that one, just go on Quizlet and you'll, you'll find it. Then I had Safe Driving. That one was similar to Quizlet. I can't remember if it was exact, but it was similar. So I would just read it and kind of get a feel for what that passage is saying. I also had Rainforest. Rainforest was not like the one on Quizlet, but it wasn't a difficult passage. I mean, to, actually to me, that was the hardest passage because I would try and find the answers on the passage and it was more like critical thinking type of questions rather like, you know, it, it said like, based on the passage, what would you think is a problem or something like that. And so it was like critical thinking rather than let me go back and check on the passage. But it's really short, so I guess that helps. I also had insomnia. Insomnia was like the Quizlet, but they weren't in order, and the answer choices were not like completely identical to the Quizlet. And I had voice. Voice was word for word, identical to the Quizlet. I remember that. And then I had phobia, and phobia was very similar to the Quizlet, almost word for word. One, two questions weren't. Let's discuss the grammar vocabulary section. I scored 86% in the grammar section and 82% in the vocabulary section. I highly recommend nurse Shay vocabulary videos and medical terminology video. But listen to Nurse Shay when you are in the shower, riding, driving your vehicle, or while cooking, while washing dishes. Uh, the more you hear the vocabulary words, including the example sentences, the more you will be prepared for the vocabulary section. 50 minutes to answer 50 questions. You will be tested on basic vocabulary, you will also be asked to find words, and you will be given scratch paper and pencil. Abrupt, sudden and unexpected. I was surprised by the abrupt change of gas prices. Abstain, to refrain from something. Most pregnant women, abstain. The distance across the center of an object. The diameter of the future frame was 73 feet. Digression, a deviation or detour from the central topic or focus. Let's return to the main topic after that brief digression. Dilate, to enlarge or expand. Nurse Hub's diagnostic and practice exams will help tremendously with both grammar and vocabulary. Nurse Shea's grammar videos are extremely helpful. Momatrix is really good for the grammar section as well. Some questions were word for word on the HESI. Finally, my English composite score was 86.67%. My overall cumulative score was 90%. What I used to pass the HESI, which is the most recommended resources in this specific order. One, Nurse Hub diagnostic exams and practice exams. Nurse Hub practice exams are harder than the actual HESI, a two exam, in conjunction with the Leitner study system. Second, Mometrics HESI, a two secrets study guide, especially online practice exams. Three, YouTube, Nurse Shea, and other inf influencers. Fourth, Quizlet. Fifth, HESI. Admission Assessment Exam Review, Study Guide Edition 6, Online Access Code. To begin test prep for the HESI exam, once you purchase Nurse Hub, immediately take each section's diagnostic exams for all the sections needed for your nursing program. 
Nurse Hub Diagnostic exams will provide you with a gauge of the topics you need to focus your studying on. Leitner Study System. In the Leitner Study System, you will study each exam section and respective topic seven days per week. When you use your Nurse Hub Diagnostic exam results, for the sections and topics you scored 0% to 67%, you would add these topics per section to your daily column. For example, in the grammar section on the topic direct object and indirect object, I scored 66.67%. In the Leitner study system, this topic will be placed in the daily column because I need to conduct daily studying on this particular topic until I have mastered this topic. Once you have mastered those topics, you will move those topics to the Tuesday, Thursday column. You will study those topics now two times a week instead of daily. Then for the topics you scored 100% on the diagnostic exam, you will place those topics in the Friday column immediately after you get the diagnostic exam results. Also, the Friday column will include all the topics you have mastered throughout your study period. This means you only study these topics on a weekly basis. I use the spreadsheet version of the Leitner study system instead of a flashcard shoebox method. How did I use the Leitner study system to study for the HESI exam? Here was my method. In the topics that I scored 0% to 67%, I placed those topics in the daily column, which means I studied those topics daily until I mastered each topic. Then as I studied and mastered those problem topics, I moved those topics to the Tuesday, Thursday column. Based on the diagnostic exam results, every topic I scored 100% I added to the Friday column. As displayed on the screen in the description below this video on YouTube, there is a link that provides the full explanation of the Leitner study system by Mometrics. The spreadsheet method works in the same manner as the flashcard box method. Mometrics, HESI A Two Secret Study Guide 2025 to 2026 helped me tremendously in the grammar, reading, comprehension, and math sections. Extremely helpful for the grammar sections and vocabulary sections most of these words were on the HESI exam. The Mometrics math section provides great memory tricks and additional practice problems that were not in Nurse Hub or the online HESI admission assessment exam review study guide. Quizlets, there are several Quizlets that can help or hurt you. As the YouTube influencer Math stated in her video, here are the Quizlets that I found helpful. And if I post these Quizlets in the description of this video, they may be restricted. Please make a note of the specific Quizlets title and the developer handle, or pause the screen to capture the URL address. This will allow you to search for the particular Quizlet of interest. Again, I recommend you use Quizlet as the fourth stage in your study plan for the HESI. HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review Study, Guide Online Practice Exams. I am the biggest advocate of paying for the actual developer of the exam's study guide. HESI Study Guide glosses over each topic. However, they have an online practice exam section. This is what makes the price of the study guide worth it. In my opinion, you can purchase the same version I studied on my Amazon affiliate link in the description of this video on YouTube. The questions on the online interactive learning HESI study guide include two practice exams that are harder than the actual HESI, similar to Nurse Hub. To be transparent, you only get 15 questions per topic on each practice exam, which means a total of 30 practice questions per topic. Is the cost of this study guide worth it? Something for you to think about. Last tip, when taking the HESI exam, you have the option to select whichever topic you want to begin with. My recommendation is to start with the topic that is your strongest. In most Proctor HESI exams, you will receive the results of the topic once you complete that particular topic. It should be the same for testing centers, but please check with your testing center prior to your test date. And if you start with your strongest topic, 
This will boost your confidence while taking the exam. And on the other hand, I have heard success stories from classmates who took the math section first, which allowed them to immediately write down those conversions on their scratch paper or miniature whiteboard. Whatever strategy you decide to use, make sure that the testing strategy helps boost your confidence while taking the exam. In conclusion, if you prepare for the worst, you will not have to hope for the best. With these tips and tricks, you will win by scoring 90 plus on your HESI exam. As always, be blessed, stay safe, and be happy studying. Until next time.